Hi everybody, welcome to the Information Day for prospective undergraduate students. I am Dr. Elizabeth Ho. I'm a faculty member of the School of English and also the Undergraduate Program Coordinator. So welcome virtually at least to the School of English. Today we have um, seven topics that we will cover in our presentation. Uh, we'll go through the background of the School of English. We'll talk about the admissions requirements for becoming an English major talk about the English Studies program, the Language and Communications program, commonly abbreviated to LCOM, some of the courses that are being offered this year, which will uh, be um, also offered in the following year, future prospects for our graduating majors, and then at the end, we'll give you some useful information and contact numbers. A little bit of historical background of the School of English. We were founded in 1913. Uh, we are one of the oldest English departments in Hong Kong. Given our colonial history, we are a very post-colonial, cross-cultural, global faculty, and uh, we have a number of international master teachers and researchers working in the School of English. If you're interested in our rankings, we are ranked very highly uh, both in language and communications and in literature, language and linguistics um, in the world and also across Asia. Today we're going to talk about the undergraduate part of the academic program in the School of English. Uh, the academic program for undergraduates consists of the English studies, major and minor, and also language and communications or the LCOM minor and major. So first of all, talking about some admission requirements to join the School of English as an English major, you are required to have a minimum level five in your DSE um, examinations. Or if you've taken other forms of examinations such as the IB or the um, National Higher Education Entrance Exam, for example, please take your results and email us or go directly to the School of English office where our staff members will help uh, you translate those scores to the DSE equivalent. So first we'll talk about the English Studies program. The English Studies program is the largest major in the Faculty of Arts. We admit about 100 students, 100 English majors every year. Within the English Studies are two streams, the English Literature stream and the linguistics or uh, language stream. Both of these streams can be taken separately. So some of our English majors will only become uh, literature majors, they'll take literature classes. And some of our majors will take linguistics classes, but many of our majors will do both. Um, as all of our courses are uh, cross-cultural in orientation, you'll learn a lot about global forms of communication, world literature, post-colonialism, um, both within um, literature and linguistics. So in English studies, there are a number of introductory courses. There's a list A courses, which are historical and theoretical in scope, and list B courses, which count as critical reading, analysis, and writing. And we'll talk a little bit about those first before moving on to the advanced courses, which are 200 level or above, which focus on um, in-depth topics in language and literature. These are some of the introductory courses that are being offered in 2019 and 2020. Um, they are ranged from um, large classes of 75, 50 to 75 students and smaller classes um, of a maximum of 25 students. And you'll see that some of these classes are literature based. So they're very um, uh, introductions to literature, for example. Um, and some of them are also uh, linguistics or language based. So you'll see analyzing discourse, English grammar, for example, are our um, examples of introductory linguistics courses. And again, students are required to take a certain number of list A courses and a certain number of list B courses before they are able to take the advanced courses within the School of English. 
So these are some of the courses that are being offered um, throughout the, uh, the major. There are English literature courses, and we are one of the uh, only departments actually in Hong Kong that offer um, a range of historical courses all the way from um, Anglo-Saxon and medieval, sort of the beginnings of English literature, all the way up to the present where you'll be able to take courses in contemporary fiction and graphic novels and comics. Within that, we also have uh, courses in language, literature, and the law, as well as structural and applied linguistics and sociolinguistics. And again, I can remind you that students can take classes only in literature if they choose, or only in um, linguistics and sociolinguistics if they choose. Many of our majors choose a combination of both. I'd like to turn now to our Language and Communication Program, or our LCOM side of the uh, School of English. We are a young and growing program, so this is a fairly new major within the School of English. It is interdisciplinary with a sociolinguistic basis, and in the LCOM side of the program, as a major, you will be able to study how English and other languages are used and interact in multilingual cosmopolitan contexts of Asia. In the LCOM side of the School of English, you will also be able to take the same introductory courses of List A and List B. The only difference with LCOM is that as you become an LCOM major, you will also need to take List C courses, which are a number of courses that are offered by other um, faculties within the Faculty of Arts. There are also, again, advanced courses on language and communication that go in-depth into certain contexts and subjects as well. So these are some of the introductory courses offered um, for 2019-2020. You'll notice that List A and List B are the same as the List A and List B courses that are offered for the English study side of the department. So I want to draw your attention to the List C courses. There are many, many, many List C courses, and these are a sample of some of the List C courses that you will be able to take as an LCOM major. So you'll notice that there are courses in African linguistics, Korean language, Japanese language, as well as European studies, linguistics, and translation. Once you have taken these introductory courses, you'll then be able to advance onto the advanced courses. And you can see that there are a range of sociolinguistics, structural and applied linguistics, language literature and the law, and other multidisciplinary electives that you will be able to choose as an LCOM major within the English studies major. So these are some of the advanced courses that are offered. So once you've taken the introductory courses, you will be able to advance onto the advanced courses. And these are just some of the offerings for 2019, 2020. And these change yearly. Um, so you will be able to look in the program handbook to be able to see the large list of courses that are being offered um, throughout the years of the School of English. So these are just some of the courses in English language and linguistics, language and communication, as well as English Literary Studies, Once you have taken a certain number of introductory courses and advanced courses, you will be required to take a capstone course. And the capstone course in both English Studies and in LCOM are the same. The topics, of course, will vary according to your major. And the capstone is a requirement that all English majors will need to take to show that they are ready to graduate, that they've absorbed a certain number of skills, a certain number of topics, and are able to um, communicate with the outside world, to work, and also to move on to future avenues of studies. So within English studies, our majors will often take a senior colloquium in English studies. So that is a research seminar, a very small, intimate setting where you will work with other students and your professor on um, a research topic of your choice. Similarly, the LCOM major will have a, um, a LCOM uh, senior colloquium based on research for a small number of students to take for their capstone. English majors on the LCOM side and on the English studies side also have the option to do the extended essay in English studies or the extended essay in LCOM. This is open, um, uh, students with a high GPA are invited to um, partake in the English st uh, extended essay um, in English studies and LCOM. And finally, 
students are also able to take an experiential learning capstone. This is very popular with all of our majors. And this is where um, our students arrange independently to set up internships with um, NGOs, companies, or entities outside of the university where they are able to take their skills as an English major or an LCOM major into the workplace. And these are some of the credit-bearing internship opportunities that our students have set up. These are existing partnerships within the School of English. So we have um, opportunities within Hong Kong U, such as the Black Box Studio. Um, but certainly, um, our students have gone to secondary schools across Hong Kong and have worked with um, the University Museum, for example, or Tycoon Center for Heritage and the Arts. But they've also been responsible for setting up their own contacts and their own learning opportunities outside of the university. And we welcome our majors to make those contacts and bring them back to the School of English. Finally, when our English majors graduate, they often ask, well, what can we do after we graduate with a, an English major or an LCOM major from the School of English? And the answer is anything. Um, being an English major, whether you're English studies or LCOM, is probably one of the most flexible majors that you can graduate with from Hong Kong U. Um, our students go on to become media and communication experts. They work in the field of advertisements. They work in public relations. They work in government services, they become civil servants, teachers, they work with NGOs, they become social workers. There's really nothing that an English major can't do when they graduate. And of course, many of our students have gone on to become teachers and professors and have done postgraduate studies both in Hong Kong and abroad. I'd like to give you now some useful information and contact. First of all, please visit our website at the um, School of English to get more information about the English major and the LCOM major. There's also information there about the program coordinator. So if you'd like to email me, please feel free to do so. I can answer any questions that you have and introduce you more to what the English studies major has available for you. My colleague, Dr. Brian King, you'll see his email on the screen as well. He is the program coordinator for language and communication. And if you have any questions or concerns or would like to know more about the LCOM side of the English department, you're welcome to contact him. And finally, um, please also feel free to come visit our School of English office where you can pick up a program handbook which has a lot of information, again, for you that is both available in the slides but also um, much more information about the list of courses and opportunities and requirements that you would uh, need to become an English major. We also have a Facebook page. And um, I also wish to welcome you on behalf of the wonderful students and English majors of the School of English. Thank you.